good afternoon. Um, it's been a pleasure being here. I'm from Chennai, so coming over here, it's Delhi is always close to my heart. So, um, so here I am. I've uh, started off when I was eight years old in racing. I started with go karting, and my dad's a national sometimes bike racer, bike racing champion. So I started off like a normal kid um, into go karting, and um, from there onwards, I won races. I used to be so aggressive as a kid. I lost my hair. Uh, my I had a very I had very long hair back then, so I lost my hair in the go kart. It got uh, tangled in the um, a go kart, and I was in pain. And my dad told me the first thing when I came out, get back inside and drive again. So it was really funny because I was in pain, and I really wondered whether he was my dad because he was asking me to go back. A kid who was in pain, uh, you know, he should be taking me to the hospital. Nothing happened to me, but you know how a kid is when she is small, so when she gets hurt. So I went back and I won, I won that race. And um, today I realize when I look back, it's, it's something which um, my dad gave me a lot of courage to, that small thing really made a huge change in my life today. So from then onwards I moved on to uh, car racing and then I moved on to uh, super bike racing. I got my first super bike when I was 18 years old. And um, again I went under training, but during these um, small incidents of me switching on to bikes, go-karting, car racing, everything, you know, the whole thing which happened to me is um, I got a lot of uh, people to put me down, a lot. So a lot of guys, a lot of girls, a lot of people around me, family. But then, you know, the thing which um, made me go on is definitely only my parents. And also something which, you know, when someone tells you not, you can't do it, you always want to do something when you can't do it. I mean, when they tell you, you can't, you know, and that's when you want to do something and prove them wrong. So this came up to me when I was around uh, 13 years old. I wanted to prove every single person wrong. So I used to bunk colleges. Uh, I used to bunk my college. I studied in two colleges. So I used to bunk both my, um, when I was in college, first year, first year, second year, third year. And again, I did my PG uh, as a HR in some uh, another college. I used to bunk the college classes just to go to the gym to train because I had no time uh, after that. So I used to bunk, go to the gym, train, and then go back home, sleep, wake up again, go for training, go back to college. My routine, whole life routine was like this. And um, you need to make a lot of sacrifices for it. So this is what I did for so many years, and I used to be a back marker in a race. So back marker is someone where you get overlapped by the leader. So this used to be me, and um, the guys used to overlap me. They used to go and tell my dad, what is she doing? You know, she's your daughter, and I think she just get married and sit at home. But then uh, that is a day when I really, my life really changed. I went back, I'm a, I'm a very emotional person, so I went back home, I shut the door, and I cried. Uh, myself, my mom is my big support, so she came up to me and she said, you can do it, you can, you can, you can. And that you can, you can, it became that I can. And then I went back um, to the racetrack, I proved everyone wrong again, I started winning races. It's a long brief, but I don't want to make um, things boring right now. So I went abroad, I trained, I a lot of hours of fitness I trained and uh, despite my height also, um, it was a little difficult to manage when you're into bike racing, handling a super bike, you know, in the corners. It, I, I race about 285 kilometers in the super bike. So it's a little difficult to manage, but then um, it's all about fitness. I train for three hours a day. Till now I've been training. So um, I finished off with bike racing and then I got a very good off on car racing. I moved to car racing back again. And again, it's, it's from scratch, from zero. I had to start again because it's not easy being a bike racer and then moving on to cars. And I've been racing all through my life, I've been only racing with boys and men. So, and uh, from then onwards, I moved to um, car racing. I trained again and back to square one, people again talking, people again. You know, it's, it's been a tough journey for me for sure. So from there onwards, um, I trained really hard. And I used to always always finish uh, fifth, sixth, seventh. All It's always top six or top seven. I've never finished on the podium at all. So I was the first Indian to go uh, international car racing in the one mix series in, of Toyota racing um, um, the other year, the last year. So I finished top six in India with 
15 women races across Asia, which is really difficult because, you know, um, training here, being, num being really good here amongst men, I thought I'm going to be really good against women all over the world, over Asia. But I went there, it, it was quite difficult because, uh, you know, racing there, um, it, showed, it showed me and it also uh, made me realize that I'm nowhere compared to the women uh, who are racing abroad. So then that's when I took a stand, when I said, okay, I need to get more women into motorsports. Not only, not only, I shouldn't just be there, I should get more women. So I came back and I started my own academy for racing. And uh, I was, uh, it was two years back, I started my own academy and it's called uh, Ali Shabdra Racing Academy for Women. So in bikes, I started, first I kicked off with bikes. It, um, it stopped for some time because uh, it just, it just didn't work out because it's, I was too young, <laughs> I am too young to handle such uh, sharks around me. It's really difficult to manage uh, companies around me. So I, uh, companies and people around me. So I, I gave it a break and uh, this year it's on a very, very big uh, level that I'm going to launch my first Indian uh, bike racing uh, team of uh, India, all women. So I've got amazing people, I have 80 girls only from uh, South India who's uh, registered in my academy and they are going to be, there are going to be so many women racers in my sport right now. So I've been, I've been really happy because um, being in this world where people, uh, if there's one person for you, there's 100 people against you. And that shouldn't really put you down because uh, having uh, been in a journey when I was eight years old till now, it's, it's, it's not really easy and managing my national, I'm uh, currently leading the national car racing championship uh, with 27 men. So um, from zero, I used to be coming last and now I'm so proud to, uh, you know, be uh, number one right now in India in my car racing, uh, uh, event, in my car racing, in my sport. So um, it's not easy, it looks easy. I look very uh, tiny also from back there, but uh, it's lots of hard work and a lot of, uh, it's not only hard work, it's I self-motivate myself. I don't need anyone to sit and tell me, you can do it, you can do it, because um, it just doesn't work out for me. So I just sit down, wake up every morning and think, uh, you know, I think of all the people who try to put me down. I think about all the people who always tell me, she can't do it, she's a girl, you know, women can't do it. So I always like to prove every person who said that, women can't put, uh, women can't do uh, things they can't, they can't come to a um, men's sport and they can't come to racing and win a race. So I think uh, I proved every guy wrong. So it's, it's fun when I race because um, uh, dealing with so many people on the racetrack, you know how races are. So it's quite difficult uh, dealing with them, but it's fun also. So I've not just proved that I can be a very good car racer of India or bike racer. I've also, I'm also bringing out so many girls to prove everyone, uh, not everyone wrong, but I'm trying to uh, prove to India that motorsport is a sport and also women are not less than anyone else. So this is my journey. I've just given a, a small brief about my journey, but uh, I would like to tell everyone uh, over here, never give up on your dream no matter what, because you know, um, be it in love life or be it in uh, career or be it anything, anything at all. You know, when, when there's a goal, there's so many, it's just like football. Our life is just like a football game. You know, there's a goal, you need to score a goal. But in between, there are so many people around, you know, in between trying to, you know, take that goal away, take that ball away from you and uh, passing it on to, you know, passing it on to another person. And I don't watch football much, but, I have a gist of what uh, has to be, you know, uh, this is, I compare my life to foot, a football game because it's exactly the same. So never give up on all your uh, hopes and your dreams because uh, for sure, if, um, if I can do something in my sport and in my, uh, in my career, in my whatever I want to pursue in life, I think everyone is capable of doing. And I think um, we all are born for something. So just don't, just don't study and get married and just have children, you know. Have something in life where your own children call you as the role model. So that's good and thank you so much.